Nvidia went through a lot of criticism since the first launch of their new flagship RTX 40 series graphics cards because of the sky high price. Especially with the 4070 Ti which they initially branded as an RTX 4080 when it first came out. AMD however successfully managed to keep their feet balanced for the new flagship RX 7000 model GPUs in terms of both price and value. And with the rebranding of Nvidia's RTX 4070 Ti GPU, AMD's lower RDNA 3 variant, the RX 7900 XT has achieved even more credits. In today's video, we'll be comparing Nvidia's RTX 4070 Ti head-to-head -head against AMD's RX 7900 XT and find out which one has the most value in terms of performance and price. As we jump into the internal specifications, we can see that the RTX 4070 Ti holds about 7680 CUDA cores, 80 RT cores with a base clock speed of 2310 MHz and a boosted clock speed of 2610 MHz. It also includes 12 GB of VRAM along with 192 bits of bus width and 285 watts of total board power consumption. AMD, on the other hand, has the 7900 XT, which comes with 5376 CUDA cores and 84 RT cores, including a base clock speed of 3095 MHz and boosted clock speed of 1695 MHz. But the best part is, it has a staggering 20 GB of VRAM, which is quite an impressive number judging by the 12 GB VRAM on the RTX 4070 Ti. Additionally, it also comes with 320 bits of bus width, including 300 watts of total board power consumption. As we can see, both GPUs come up with great internal specifications. While the 4070 Ti delivers more CUDA cores and clock speed, the RX 7900 XT brings you more VRAM power which gives the card a major performance boost. And even though 4070 Ti has less VRAM, it's still a decent card all thanks to the new DLSS technology and higher CUDA cores, which shows excellent ray tracing performance. But what makes the RX 7900 XT a big deal is its display port 2.1, which Nvidia's RTX 4070 Ti does not come with, not even in their flagship RTX 4090 model. So if you want to try gaming on a next-gen monitor with AMD's card, you'll be able to do that as well. Now that we're all caught up with the internal specifications, it's time we take a look at the actual performance of both these cards. That being said, let's jump into the benchmark right away. According to Digital Trends, it shows that the RX 7900 XT has about 10% lead against the 4070 Ti on 3D Mark Port Royale. Also, when it comes to ray tracing performance, there wasn't much difference either as it shows only 3% better performance than the RX 7900 XT. And at a higher 4K resolution, the RTX 4070 Ti also seems to lag behind by showing 11% slower performance against the RX 7900 XT GPU. However, while playing ray trace games like Cyberpunk 2077, Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, and Bright Memory Infinite at 1440p resolution, Nvidia's RTX 4070 Ti somehow manages to take the lead with an average of 68.6 frames per second against RX 7900 XT GPU's 57.9 frames per second, which is quite an improvement. In most cases, we can see that the RTX 4070 Ti struggles to keep up with AMD's RX 7900 XT GPU. But then again, the latest DLSS 3 and the frame generation technology work really well in this card, so even though RX 7900 XT stays ahead in terms of performance, there aren't any huge differences. And that brings us to the final and most important part of today's video, the price tag. The MSRP for Nvidia's RTX 4070 Ti has been set up to $799, which is $100 less compared to its competitor, RX 7900 XT GPU from AMD. So if you look at the price range now, you can say that the 4070 Ti obviously performs a little less compared to the RX 7900 XT, since it costs less compared to AMD's one. But that's not the point here. Fans are upset because it delivers almost the same performance, well, if not the same but a little higher compared to the previous gen RTX 3080 GPU. As a result, the value of this GPU is less compared to the price you're going to pay which caused a huge debate among the reviewers and customers. 
Other than that, both GPUs are pretty decent cards in their own position and they both are capable of delivering really impressive next-gen gaming performance in super high resolution. At the end of the day, you're getting a decent card regardless of whichever you decide to buy. So that was all about our today's comparison video between the RTX 4070 Ti versus RX 3900 XT. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.